Hello and welcome to DCPA. This is the problem uh, that we are going to solve using strain energy method. And as you can see here, we have a cantilever beam, which uh, we uh, are going to find the deflection. So the question is find the deflection of the beam using strain energy method. And uh, we have this uh, load given to us. Basically, strain energy method, to apply the strain energy method, you need to have only a single point load. Okay. You cannot apply this method for a UDL or a UVL or basically a distributed load. You need to have a concentrated point load or a concentrated moment. Fine. And you can only find the deflection at the point where the concentrated point load or the concentrated moment is acting. Okay. So this is basically what strain energy uh, method is about. It is half into P into delta. The derivation of this basically this from where this formula is coming that uh, we have already seen in our previous video lectures so half into p into delta is equal to u where u is the strain energy okay u is the strain energy and it is given as integration of a to b the limits mx square dx upon 2 ei mx is basically the moment equation moment equation which desc uh, describes the bending moment profile for the entire beam okay so for example if i take a section at x say this is mx1 okay whatever equation i get for this mx1 will apply for the entire beam right from b to a that is when x equal to 0 till x equal to l so it will apply to the entire beam whatever equation i get here so such should be this mx and when you put it into this formula you will get the entire strain energy so step one is finding strain energy okay finding strain energy so the steps that i'm going to follow here if you follow the same steps you will never go wrong with these kind of sums all right so first here is the members member for which member we are finding the strain energy so it is ab then comes origin origin is basically from where your x is starting so your x is starting from b so it is b limits okay limits are uh, that is uh, from where your x starts and where it goes so your yeah, x starts from 0 and it goes till l okay the entire span so it is 0 to l then flexural rigidity flexural rigidity is ei which is not given in the question but uh, we'll consider it to be ei constant throughout and then mx equation mx equation so so what should be the mx equation here w into x but this w is hogging right this it is creating a frowning face a sad face so it is hogging so it should be negative minus w into x so your mx is minus wx mx square is w square x square whatever we require here those terms we have written and now we can put them in this formula so you will get the strain energy so strain energy is integration of a to b mx square dx upon 2 ei so a to b here is your basically your limits so they are 0 to l first we'll take this 1 upon 2 ei outside and then 0 to L mx square is w square x square dx right so now you just have to solve this integration uh, w square also I'll take outside w square upon 2 ei then integration of x square which is x cube by 3 going from applying the limit 0 to L so this will uh, become w square upon 6 ei l cube right w square l cube upon 6 ei this is your strain energy 
okay and step 2 is applying this equation so equating strain energy to external work done okay so this entire part that you see that is your external work done okay so it is called as the external work done we equate the strain energy to the external work done what do we get Uh, it was basically W square L cube upon 6 EI, right? So your strain energy was W square L cube upon 6 EI is equal to half into P is basically your load. So it is W P into delta. So this W will get cancelled. This 2 will cancel with your 3. So your delta is W L cube upon 3 EI. This is your equation for deflection at this end. 